To me, the Society of Les Voyageurs is a family that you choose. The Society of Les Voyageurs is a um, group of students and professionals who share a wonder and uh, fascination with the out-of-doors. It feels more like a family than only friendship. So it's given me a place to feel included and to have other people in my life that I can trust. The Society was formed um, here at the university back in 1907. My understanding is we're one of the two oldest uh, student organizations at the university. The other one I understand is the Men's Glee Club. We base a lot of our traditions off the uh, 17th and 16th century fur trappers and uh, mostly traders of French Canada and the Northwest Territory. It's a single and independent. We're not part of the Greek system. We're a unique organization and we're unique to the University of Michigan campus. Active makes a paddle. Um, and it's a very involved process that they get to put their own custom touch onto. And it's significant because in the Voyageur days, they would depend on their paddle with their lives uh, in a full day of rowing. You know, it was founded around these original three principles, Mem, Nun, Beth, nature, brotherhood, and, and maker, or something divine, you know, God or otherwise. And I think there was a very strong emphasis in those early years on uh, hard skills in the outdoors, and also a certain sort of classiness of wearing tuxedos when you were in town and then oiled flannel or canvas in the, in the mountains. The society does a really good job of, I think, normalizing outdoor experiences. Day to day it'd be like, come back from class, someone just showed up at the cabin and they want to go canoeing. And like, suddenly I have someone to go canoeing with, with is great. Or like, want to drive down to Kentucky to go caving? And it's like, yes, I would love to do that. Every Sunday at 6 p.m. Uh, we have a potluck. Everybody brings a dish if they're able and a friend. When the weather's nice, it gets us outside. And when the weather's bad, it brings us in camaraderie around a meal and provides a lot of structure. Like, it's the same structure of like having a family dinner and that same security and safety of just being with uh, people you love. What keeps an, an alumnus or alumna coming back to the society is really very different for everyone. I don't come back because all of my friends are here. I come back because there are friends here who I haven't met yet. Well, what keeps me coming back is that energy, that wonder of life, that you know, new experience, freshness that continually comes to you. I love that. Oh my God, that's so cool. What? Police are coming back. Oh my God. I think a club like this is really important more and more every year as um, protecting our environment is becoming more crucial and more vital. So many people are more distant from nature. They are farther from the food they eat, they're farther from the experiences that their ancestors had, even their parents or grandparents. It can get so easy to just be on your phone and be watching TV and we have so many vices that we can easily turn to. So having other people who always want to go for a canoe ride or go for a hike, I think that's really important. Being in nature with your brothers and sisters is an environment where you can learn anything as a human and how to be a human and a better human and to interact with the world. That's all you need, the crucible of nature and your fellows. Water.